Now the family came here in 1869 and bought 460 acres. The original homestead is a, a one room mud brick and stone cottage. That, that's pretty classic Australiana for you. And then they, they built this house in 1907 when they were obviously more established. And I believe this house, this house cost 1,100 pounds in 1907, which I'm, I'm sure was a lot of money in those days. Family used to have a, a large interest in racehorses, but they very nearly lost the property doing it. The last time they had racehorses in big numbers was during the Depression. A lot of people went, went bankrupt with horses at that stage, so the farm was basically funding racehorses. They tried to, to do things on an English basis because they were, they were obviously all from English heritage. Their, their production was minuscule really compared to what we're doing now. So we're running about 10,000 sheep, about 1,000 primarily Angus cows. Oats for um, human consumption, so a lot, of the, a lot of the porridge you eat comes from here, or well, certainly on this side of the country. <laughs> so we run 5,400 hectares here, and we've, we've just purchased um, another 760 hectares last year with Bank West. I grew up on a family farm down near Waruna, southwest WA. Livestock, sheep, cattle, goats. After doing a bit of travelling and working out what I wanted to do, went back and studied an agribusiness degree. I looked around at a number of different banks and, and Bank West for me was the one that allowed me to stay in the, the agribusiness industry, which I love, and they really, really set me up with a good learning opportunity. Josh has a very good understanding of, um, of agriculture. It's easy to talk to him on that level. What our plans are, how we see things progressing, and what our, what our end goal is, as opposed to, to some other bankers that, that come out of the city and, and have, no, have no background in agriculture, so just don't understand what you're trying to achieve. One of the big focuses for, for us is really getting out onto farm or into those businesses and, and understanding what they're doing, how they're doing it, where they are. So when you're talking to them down the track for finance, for funding proposals, you've got a really good idea of what their business is doing and how it works. Is it wool or is it just different quality? It's different quality wool. It's about the same kilos. It's really critical to understand each of the businesses that we're, we're dealing with on a probably a bit of an intimate level. We were what we, did, we considered to be in a ridiculous situation where we had a $50,000 overdraft on a six and a half, seven million dollar property. They were chasing almost half of the property for security. The overdraft was just a, was just a facility. I mean, literally, we needed to use it probably for a month. And they were making us jump through hoops that were, were just stupid. <laughs> We'd never been with, it, with another bank that I'm aware of. There'd never been a, a problem with, with a, a loan repayment or anything. We were just, I guess, offended by, by their attitude. So we started, we looked around for, for other banks and decided that, um, that we'd give a, a West Australian bank a go. Being based locally in the town gives you a really good advantage, uh, you've got a good understanding of the community. If they're going through good times in the cropping, in the farming industry, uh, it's, it's generally a good time for myself. And if things are tough, we experience it as well. We sort of go into bat for those clients and I guess come up with uh, solutions to funding issues that they may have or just just being there as a sounding board more than anything. Farming being a seasonal operation, you, you tend to have times of the year when you don't have the money there. It's more of a partnership. What Bank West is able to offer is obviously financial solutions that allow them to grow. Um, certainly working with them for seasonal funding but also expansion with the new farmland that they've taken on. As soon as I saw it, I pretty well wanted to buy it. And because, because there is so much potential there, we put the proposal to, to Josh. In fact, I think I spoke to Josh the same day, just about. So Andrew, Pauline gave us a call. The revenue, the profits they could generate from this block wouldn't be sufficient to have covered the loan repayments required to buy the block. We quite enjoy a challenge, so um, we thought taking on another property that has exceptionally good, good soil types, but, but is very underdeveloped and has had almost nothing done with it. Looking at the bigger picture, understanding their overall business, we were able to work out, yes, we can support this new debt successfully without putting the, their existing business or the new business under too much pressure. Thank you. 
this will become a big part of our of our succession plan, I think. And certainly Bank West, we're more than happy to support that transaction and it's a, a really logical step for their business to grow. It's positive for the family and I think it's positive for the farm. In fact, I think that the farm is benefiting from what we're doing. There's an element of trust that, that you have to have between both client and banker, I think, to, mm. to get that successful relationship. To have someone that understands your business and is, and is providing you with, with finance as well, it just makes life so much easier. I would have to agree that Bank West do seem to have a different mindset to most other banks as far as agriculture is concerned and that's, that's, what, that's what makes a difference to me.